And of course, woman, well, she came last because she talks the most. And um, <laughs> thank you so much for everything that you're doing. I'm super stoked to um, have gotten to talk with you today. And, well, thank uh, you. Yeah, give the give the screeners your contact information, and and we'll talk to you further about that. Thank you so much for giving us that information. And of course, people ought to ask, uh, what's going on with this when we have something that there's so much evidence that it's safe and it's effective, but of course, nobody can make money off of it unless there's a black market because it's very easy to grow. It grows like a weed, as they say. So the pharmaceutical companies can't patent this and charge exorbitant prices on this. And when you look at something like hemp, you understand that hemp doesn't have THC in it, doesn't have any uh, psychoactive properties in it. So why would they ban hemp? Well, clearly it is to try to protect industry. So when you start to see it, there's an economic aspect to it. And then you look at this, how effective it is medically, and then look at what the pharmaceutical companies are doing. They want to take away our informed consent and violate the Nuremberg Code, saying that they can inject us with whatever they deem to be necessary at any given time. We should be very, very concerned about this. This isn't something that they're just doing if you want to go into school. I could deal with that easily enough, but that's not the way that this rolls out. I could take my kids out of school. As a matter of fact, I never put my kids in school. I always homeschool them. My wife was a teacher. We knew what that was about. She and I had gone through the schools. I would do anything to keep my kids out of the schools. And of course, if I've got to have a vaccine to put them in, that doesn't really affect me. But they're not going to leave it there. They're going to come to your home. They're going to come into your home. They're going to force you as an adult to take these vaccines because it's in the financial interest of the pharmaceutical companies who are granted immunity from vaccines. Why do you think they're showing up? Why do you think vaccines are showing up for everything? Everything is going to be treated now with a quote unquote vaccine. Well, it's because they have absolutely no product liability for it if they call it a vaccine. That was set up by Ronald Reagan in 1986. He took away their liability. And that's why you see vaccines everywhere. Let's go quickly to Jason in West Virginia. Jason. Uh, yeah, Dave. I just want to say uh, thanks a lot for sitting in for Alex, man. You guys are awesome. I um, also want to say that um, we're, I am awake and I am waking others out here in West Virginia to what was going on. Um, up until two years ago, I was in the trance that uh, Alex talks about, sitting on the couch, watching TV all day, listening, pro-government. Yes, Alex opened my eyes, and I am running around like a madman on fire for Christ, out here telling everybody, exposing this crap that they're trying to give us vaccine for kids and it's just it just makes no sense they they need to go down they need to be exposed and this needs to come out and i think this is a work of god putting you guys together to get the voice out to wake america up well thank you and it's and that's what is needed we try to give you ammunition we try to give you talking points we try to educate you about where the studies are that show that fluoride is harmful that show that uh that, that cannabis can be effective that talk about the dangers to not only our health, but to our civil liberties to allow them to mandate any kind of medical uh, treatment. And that's one of the big issues I have with fluoride, the fact that you would dump it into the water supply. I mean, we look at the dosages that are allowed. The uh, municipalities are doing it at uh, two to four times the level that they've seen in the UK just a couple of weeks ago will affect, dramatically affect the thyroid. And of course, the EPA allows it at 10 times the level that will affect the thyroid. But it's not just the thyroid. We see that it affects people's IQ, children's IQ especially. We see that it also affects ADHD. That was a study that just came out a couple of days ago that we talked about in depth yesterday. And so we have to understand that when you're even talking about these levels, that's not the level that you're getting necessarily when you drink the water. Are we going to have, what kind of dosage are we going to have for adults versus a young child? You can't control for dosage if you dump it in the water. If fluoride were safe and effective, you still wouldn't want to dump it in the water. Some people are going to get too little if it's effective and necessary. Some people are going to get way too much. One dose does not fit all with any medication. So that right there should be set off alarms and flags that something is wrong about this fluoridation program. Stay with us when we come back. We're going to be talking to, uh, to David Simpson, who introduced the bill to take marijuana out of the legal code here in Texas. And then right after, we're going to go back to your calls. That number is 800-259-9231. And we're going to be taking those calls on medical marijuana. Stay with us. and more people.
people are discovering the incredible benefits of alkalizing the body. And there's no better product for it than AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops. Packed with a powerful combination of the most alkaline minerals and compounds, just a few drops in water will rid your body of harmful waste and give you more vibrance and vigor than you've had in years. Now buy two bottles and get $10 off your order. Call 800-518-7615 or visit ALKAVision.com. Alkalize your body. Supercharge your health at AlkaVision.com. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. Used since before the days of the Roman Empire to support the body's natural systems and enhance overall health. Introducing the new InfoWarsLife.com Oil of Oregano Formulation, a highly advanced nutraceutical form of this key herb that has been traditionally used by civilizations for thousands of years to promote health. We have now procured the most high quality and potent forms of oregano oil on the market. Sourced from top leading manufacturers to ensure a concentrated level of bioactive ingredients extracted directly from the wild herb and sealed in easy to use capsules you will no longer need to endure the burning of liquid oregano on the tongue wild crafted from the mediterranean oregano species that experts agree is one of the most powerful and most challenging to acquire this winter season it's more important than ever to secure this true form of oil of oregano now available in our limited first run at infowarslife.com that's infowarslife.com or call 888-253-3139 as the new world order continues to tighten its grip on every facet of our lives, we're all asking ourselves, how can we maintain our independence? The answer is clear. Get prepared and you get prepared now. Now the only question left is where do we begin? My Patriot Supply is here to help. Call 800-247-3070 to get started with your 72-hour emergency food supply for only $10. We're even covering the cost of shipping. Are you willing to rely on the government and FEMA in the event of an emergency? Call 800-274-3070 to get started with your 72-hour emergency food supply for only $10. You won't be able to find this deal online, and there is a strict limit of four per caller, so don't wait. Call now, 800-274-3070. That's 800-274-3070. Call right now. I'm Mike Huckabee. I was the governor of Arkansas and ran for president in 2008, and I used to be a diabetic. One of the coolest campaigns I ever took on and won was the crusade that reversed my type 2 diabetes naturally. I was able to get off the medications I'd taken, and I lost 110 pounds of fat in the process. If you or someone you care about has type 2 diabetes or prediabetes, I urge you to pay close attention to what I'm about to tell you. The same methods I use to reverse my type 2 diabetes are found today in the Diabetes Solution Kit from Barton Publishing. It's an all-natural plan that really could work for you in reversing type 2 diabetes and prevent it from coming back. All in as little as four weeks with your doctor's approval. Stop suffering. Here's how to get your hands on the Diabetes Solution Kit today. Get your Diabetes Solution Kit now at DiabetesFree88.com. Everything you need to reverse your type 2 diabetes or pre-diabetes like Governor Huckabee did is at DiabetesFree88.com. Reverse your diabetes today at DiabetesFree88.com. That's DiabetesFree88.com. Don't worry, this show is documented. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, down, Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, your host. And Bloomberg Politics burned, burned, had this headline. Texas Republican fire. mounts pro-marijuana campaign, Bible in hand. Who is this Texas Republican? Well, it's David Simpson. We've talked to him before with his bills to try to stop the TSA from sexually molesting us, especially our children, especially our children. Unfortunately, that didn't pass. He gave it a valent try twice. It was shut down by the lieutenant governor before it got through the Senate. David Simpson got elected to the state house in Texas in 2010, defeating a seven-term incumbent. 
by running on a platform of defending the Constitution. This is from his uh, biography on his website. In his first session, he was earned the Taxpayer Champion Award from Texans for Fiscal Responsibility, Freshman of the Year Award from Young Conservatives of Texas. He has deep roots in Texas. He's a seventh generation Texan. And he's been married for 28 years with seven children and two grandchildren. He comes at this with a Christian perspective. And that's why I really wanted to have him on. Also, the approach that he takes in the bill that he uh, uh, just put before the Texas legislature is different from the approaches that we've seen in the states that have legalized it. But I want him to come on and talk about his perspective because the biggest cheerleaders, unfortunately, for drug prohibition are the Christians. And they need to hear David Simpson's uh, perspective on this. Joining us now is David Simpson, Texas representative. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Simpson. Well, it's a delight to be with you. Thank you for having me. Well, thank you, and thank you for putting this. Thank you for your work. I tell you what, if people want to know who the heir to Ron Paul is, it's this guy. This guy is my hero, I tell you. Talk to us about the uh, <clears throat> about what you would do with uh, with medical marijuana. What's your approach? What would you say to Christians who want to use uh, the hammer of government who see everything as a nail that needs to be hit down with force? Well, I, I, first of all, I, I like to focus on the proper role of government. And, and you can just go right to Romans 13, and it talks about how God gave the civil magistrate the sword. And sword is a, you know, an image of force that can prod, it can punish. Uh, it's, 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 its duty is to punish the wrongdoer. But it's interesting, it's not every wrongdoing. Uh, the, the commandments that the Apostle Paul focuses on at, at the, in the middle of the chapter after talking about the magistrate's role are the second table of the law, not murdering, not stealing, uh, not the bearing false witness, or even planning uh, to do so. That's, that's the role of the civil magistrate is to punish the wrongdoer who harms his neighbor, taking away his life, liberty, or property. And it's, it doesn't touch the first table of the law. That's the first thing. We don't want the civil government telling us how and when uh, to worship and who to worship. That's something that must be, uh, we must follow as individuals according to our conscience and uh, led captive, hopefully, by the Word of God. The other thing I'd focus on with respect to marijuana is that you, know, we, you start with a world that God created good, and including all its plants. And some people misinterpreted my statement about that, but I, I, you have to start there. Um, Certainly, good things that God made can be abused, but in 1 Timothy 4.4, 4, it says that everything is to be received if it can be done so with thanksgiving, and that would assume faith. And so what led me to repeal uh, all the prohibitions for punishing people for possessing or cultivating or selling marijuana is it didn't, it, we shouldn't ban a plant that God made. We should focus on irresponsible actions that harm our neighbor. If you haven't harmed your neighbor, then the punishment, the government shouldn't be involved. Now, do our neighbors need help if they abuse something? Uh, perhaps, but I don't think it's a sword. I think it's a, a loving, faithful approach. But those are some of the things we yes. God not only made things. Good, I just talked to uh, a former prosecutor last week. We talked to um, uh, Jim Girock with Law Enforcement Against Prohibition. That's an organization of former prosecutors, former police officers. Uh, some of them still active, but most of them are retired. They don't want to see prohibition. They understand how it's counterproductive. They understand how it destroys our liberties. It corrupts government. Uh, they've seen that happen. And Jim Girock is at the United Nations uh, this week trying to get them to change their focus, attacking this at the top level, trying to get them to change their focus from law enforcement to recognizing that it's a medical issue. And as Christians, we ought to recognize that it's a spiritual issue. But we're gonna come back and I wanna to talk to, uh, right after the break, I wanna to talk to uh, uh, David Simpson about how differently he would uh, unregulate marijuana as opposed to the way they've done it out west in the states where they've passed initiatives, heavily regulating it, heavily taxing it, creating a web of entrapment for people. David Simpson's bill would not do that. Stay with us, we'll be right back. We're on the march. The Empire.